Hi there. Welcome to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. This podcast is all about creating a community of like-minded individuals who are passionate about the field of health informatics. I hope to share information and advice in topics such as health analytics, digital health, biomedical engineering, and data visualization in healthcare. And in exchange, I would love to hear from you, dear listener, about your experience and interest in this field. You can drop me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com. And this email, along with any references discussed during this podcast, will be listed in the show notes below. If this resonates with you, don't forget to follow and subscribe to this podcast, as I'll be releasing new episodes bi-weekly. Welcome everyone back to the Health Analytic Insights Podcast. I have received several questions from listeners on the podcast on what is the difference between digital health and health informatics. In this podcast episode, I would like to highlight the difference between these two terms, as well as demystify some other common terms you might have heard within the health informatics field. So in my opinion, digital health can be described as a process of digitizing health records by transforming paper versions of patients' health information and entering in this information into an electronic health record system. Some popular electronic health record vendors you might have heard of include Epic or Cerner. And I think of digital health as this input stage. So it's what you're actually putting into the electronic health record, the data, the information, health information that you might put into an mHealth app, or a wearable device such as your Fitbit that might automatically calculate your step count or heart rate. So other areas of digital health can include how we share this inputted data between different health systems through health information exchange or telehealth or telemedicine, which has been especially popular during the pandemic. So when I think of the term health informatics, I think of this as the output stage, the analysis stage. So we take that health data that was input in the form of an electronic health record or wearable app, and we transform this raw data into actionable outcomes, which can improve patient outcomes. This could look like building a report or dashboard which tracks readmission rates, which might be sourced from the patient's health record. This report or dashboard, one can look at historical trends, might be influencing patients to be readmitted. Another trend you might see when it comes to health informatics is you're looking at aggregated data. So not necessarily one individual, which you might see with digital health, one individual is entering the data as a Fitbit. With health informatics, you could be looking at aggregated data or general trends or patterns in the healthcare data to come to a conclusion on what you could do to make changes at the hospital or within the healthcare level. This could look like tracking common clinical metrics, such as patient wait times in the emergency department, readmission rates, number of follow-up tests which are being administered, and can provide information on how a hospital is trending overall with respect to healthcare delivery. I've already done a couple of podcast episodes in the healthcare analytic series that I'm doing on my podcast, diving into some of these clinical metrics, such as wait times and readmission rates. So if you want to check that out, be sure to check the backlist of the episodes. That's kind of my viewpoint of how digital health and health informatics might differ. I see digital health as the input stage, transforming healthcare records into a digital form. And then I see health informatics more as the output stage, analyzing that raw healthcare data into actionable insights that can improve patient outcomes. Another term you might hear interchangeably within the health informatics field is bioinformatics. And bioinformatics can be described as the use of biological data to model and solve problems in fields such as genomics, proteomics, and pharmacology. The field of bioinformatics is responsible for the fast development of mRNA vaccines and the work involved with processing large amounts of data from biological experiments. Another example of the work done in the bioinformatics field is a human genome project, which is a mapping of all the genes that make up human DNA. And sometimes you can see the overlapping of the bioinformatics field and health informatics field. So for example, including genetic test results 
within the electronic health records is an area which is rapidly developing. For example, Meditech, which is another popular electronic health record vendor similar to Epic and Cerner, in 2022 released Expanse, which allows users to receive, store, and present complex genomic information to clinicians. And I hope to see more and more electronic health record vendors integrate genomic information into the electronic health record as the area of personalized medicine continues to develop. Because this analysis can really help when it comes to drug delivery and ensuring that the right medication is prescribed to the right individual. So although there is overlap between bioinformatics and health informatics, yes, these are two different fields. And you can go into certain degree programs that specialize on in health informatics or bioinformatics. So I would go into bioinformatics if you're more interested in using biological data, if you're interested in working in a lab environment, maybe as a research assistant. And if you're interested in health informatics, that more so will be analyzing healthcare data, primarily from hospitals or large healthcare organizations, and then developing reports and dashboards. So it all depends on what area of focus you're interested in. And I would suggest if you want to get a really good insight into the difference between these fields is to look up some of the course syllabus for a bioinformatics degree versus a health informatics degree. So this has been a quick overview of some common terms that you might hear working in the health informatics field. You can let me know if I missed any terms by dropping me a line at healthanalyticinsights at gmail.com.